Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning and thank you for joining us. It is Monday, August 2nd. I'm Kelly Byrne. Meteorologist Logan Westerhoff joins us now with our Monday forecast. Good morning, Logan. Hey, good morning, Kelly. Happy Monday, everyone. Pretty quiet start this morning. Pretty comfortable as well. And one of the reasons is we can thank those dew points. We've had those into the 50s for today, so staying very comfortable, very dry air mass in store, and that will continue as we go into the day for tomorrow. We likely won't see these dew points reaching back up into the 60s to near 70 as we get into around Friday or Saturday. So a few more days to enjoy this nice stretch of weather and for today we'll have decreasing cloud cover going throughout the day. Pretty pleasant with our highs today reaching into the lower and mid 70s. A chilly night for tonight though our lows are falling back into the lower 50s with a mainly clear sky. Looking good for Tuesday with a mix of clouds and sunshine temperatures into the upper 70s. Small chance for a shower Kelly for Wednesday otherwise partly sunny with our highs into the lower 80s. All right Logan thanks for the update. An officer involved shooting happened in Monroe County and police say it started off as a road rage incident. State police say a man chased another car and then pointed a gun at the people inside of the vehicle in Stroud Township. A pursuit began and troopers say the suspect rammed a Stroud Area Regional Police vehicle at Lakeside Manor Apartments. That's when an officer shot at the suspect's vehicle. The chase ended at the Wendy's on North Cortland Street in Stroudsburg. The suspect was taken to a local hospital for treatment, but state police did not say if the suspect was hit by gunfire. The names of those involved have not yet been released. Five people are displaced after a fire in Monroe County. This started just after 7 o'clock Sunday morning at a home on Smith Street in East Stroudsburg. The fire chief told us it started in the back of the first floor and then spread to the second floor. Some of the people who live there were taken to the hospital for breathing in too much smoke. The cause of this fire is still under investigation. To see more of our top headlines and more details on your forecast, just head to our website, pahomepage.com.